over to the Holy Spirit and say, I don't know where this is going to go, but I know I want this to be for the greater good. I want this to be for me waking up. And I have used this relationship. I have investments. I really have had this. I wanted this person to come out this way to make something more of themselves. I wanted to fix them. I thought I could change them. Da 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 da. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give all that to you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> I want you to help me unlearn the strings that I've attached to this relationship, the way I, I've wanted to use them to meet my needs, you know, and to build me up. Because I felt unworthy, I've used them as a crutch. And it really can seem like a very fast ride, and it can seem like a real accelerated undoing of the false beliefs when you hang into a relationship and you give it over to the Holy Spirit. Because a lot of that repressed false ideas and beliefs that the mind hasn't wanted to look at start to come up. So well, it can be looked yeah, at. that's what I mean. Like, I guess part of it is like the, the purpose of them. Um, you know why? You know, um, you know that's the thing that was that was interesting that I was reading about. It's like, um, you know, you put up against the, the thing that irritates you the most. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and you both are put up against each other, irritating each other just as much, you know, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, just this, all this stuff behind that, I mean, is that basically what, you know, our, our special relationships, our closeness with, you know, with, with spouses or, or family or whatever Parents. is, I mean, that's, that's really all that they really are. Yeah. It accelerates that whole bringing to the light. Mm-hmm. Of the the beliefs that we don't even know we have, mm-hmm. don't certainly you know don't want to look at. Right. Yeah. But yeah, and but the you fact that they're special makes you possibly take more of a look at it. I think so. Because think so. if it wasn't, it could be someone that you, you just, just throw them off. Throw you know? them off. But yeah. Because I think they have a real you know. charge. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. it's something where you're, you have a tremendous amount of care and so on, and um, then you're willing to sort of hang in there more. And take a look more. Yeah, it. and it's like you're reading Return to Love. You know, Marianne has a great way of putting it that we're, she says, we're all coming here to learn how to love. And mm-hmm. and that's uh, an interesting thing to think about it because, once again, the mind, the deceived mind, thinks it knows what tables and chairs are and also it thinks it knows what love is. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's read books and it's seen movies and it's had experiences and, it, and it's, it's a very humbling fact when, when you you come to say that there are different kinds of love. I mean, that's in the special relationship section, too, that, that there seems to be in this world a brother and sister love and a love for the parents and a, and a romantic love and a da-da-da-da-da. There seems to be a pretty good scale of love, puppy love, a love for your pet, and on and on and on. And, and basically the teaching of the Course is love is one, and, and love can only look on itself. And that you, you don't know in a deceased state of mind, you don't know what love is. So in, to use Marianne's phrase, learning how to love, or to use Jesus' phrase, learning how to, to become aware of the obstacles to, their, to love's presence that, they're, that I've constructed in my mind, that's, that's the process of doing it. And to the ego, it's like, why do I, the ego would say, why do I have these people in my life? Why do I keep attracting <laughs> these people in my life that are, you know, just such pains to me? And to the Holy Spirit, you know, it's like, hey, golden opportunity here to really look at something that you can't stand to look at within your own mind, so you're projecting it out, and you're seeing it in the other person. 